Hello, very good morning to you. Watch out for some blustery winds and some heavy rain today in association with a pretty deep area of low pressure. This is fairly deep for this stage in the year for mid-April and it's bringing some strong winds and it's already brought some heavy rain and that heavy rain's now lying across far northern parts of England, southern parts of Scotland, eastern Scotland too, likely to cause some further issues as it lingers here through a big chunk of the day. Could see some high totals building up. Also some heavy outbreaks of rain affecting parts of Wales and other northern central parts of England too, but the worst of it does clear away towards the northeast as we go through the afternoon. As it does so, something a bit drier does follow in behind. There will be quite a few showers around, but in between the showers, some perhaps bright or sunny spells developing, especially across parts of Western Scotland, Northern Ireland, parts of Wales, and also Southwest England, likely to see some bright or sunny spells. Staying cloudier, wetter, and windier towards the east for later, but that system does clear away towards the North Sea as we go into this evening. Because of the cloudy, wet, and windy weather, it's not going to feel particularly pleasant, and worth noting that temperatures are a little bit lower than they were yesterday. Highs of around 13, 14 Celsius at best towards the south and most places sticking around the 10 to 11 Celsius marks, a bit fresher than it has been over recent days. Like I said, that wet weather clears away towards the North Sea and there are some showers following to start the night, but most of the showers will actually ease and die away. So for the bulk of the country, it's actually going to be a dry night with largely clear skies. Under the clear skies, temperatures will take a bit of a drop. It's going to be a fresher start tomorrow morning than it was this morning. In fact, we could see a touch of frost across the sheltered glens of Scotland and quite widely we're going to be in the low to mid single figures Celsius. A bright start for much of the country though, but not all. Across western parts, Northern Ireland, perhaps the uh, far west of Wales and Devon and Cornwall, a bit more cloud here, and then quickly we're going to see some rain pushing its way in, and that wet weather is then going to feed its way across the whole country as we go through Wednesday itself. So although many places will start tomorrow bright and fine, it is going to turn cloudy, it is going to turn wet, and it's going to turn blustery too. The heaviest, most persistent rain likely to be across western, southwestern parts of Scotland. Here again we could see some totals building up and this coming so quickly after the wet weather that we're going to see through today it's likely to cause some issues we could see a further 50 millimeters perhaps over the higher ground and so some localized flooding is possible again some travel disruption some significant spray on the roads we do have some warmer air being dragged in so although it is going to be wet blustery and pretty cloudy tomorrow our temperatures should be a couple of degrees higher quite widely ranging from around 13 to 14 celsius for many places so starting to feel that little bit warmer but things are actually going to warm up a little bit more as we go through the end of the week at the moment Thursday looks like a mostly dry day and it stays mostly dry across the south on Friday but further north a good chance that we'll see some heavy rain for a time but like I said some warm weather is on the cards temperatures rising to the high teens possibly even low 20s as we go through this week but that warmth may not last particularly long with something fresher on the cards as we go into the weekend if you do want more information about what we can expect, don't, rem uh, don't forget that our deep dive will be available on our YouTube channel later this afternoon. Bye-bye.